Now that you have a new copy with dependencies of the sample planning area, SAP IDP, you need to activate so you can load the time profiles, master data, and key figures. Let's go to the model configuration group. And here you can find the application planning areas. Look for the one that you just created in the previous step. Here you can see that still seen in active status. Let's change that. To open it, pressing the link ABC, well, the ID of your planning area, and open the list of values from the activate menu. Here you can find the pool scope with dependencies. Activate, and let's wait until the process is finished. And that's it. it. Takes more or less five minutes to finish the process. Here you can see that we don't have any error messages. Well, it's just a simple copy of the sample planning area. But if, in case you have uh, any error messages, you can open the application's log and investigate what is happening in your in your planning area. But let's close this one and continue with the following steps to load the information. Let's change the settings just to put my planning area as a default. And let's go home. Okay, now I'm going to load the time periods for this. Let's go to the administrator group. Here we can find the data integration jobs. Here we can add more information. You can download all the templates that you need for key figures, master data, and also time profiles, time periods. Uh, let's change the data type. In this case, I'm going to load time periods. Let's put the time profile. As you remember, in our exercise, we put it 77 as our time profile ID. You have to be very careful at this moment to select the ones that correspond to your planning area. The file, well, I'm taking the asset, the technical assets that SAP IVP gives, gives to us in the best practice. So let's go. Here it is. Let's change the separator. In this file, it's separated by semicolon. The operation, let's select the place, job name, let's leave it like that. Okay. Now let's wait until this finish. To refresh, press constantly just to view if your data integration job is running. Let's check again. And that's it. The execution time. 1 minute 17 seconds and that's it. Let's go back. Let's continue with the data integration jobs. Now we need to start loading the master data information. Eh, well, it's uh, logic, but uh, this have an order. First of all, you need to load the time periods, then the master data, and finally the QP because they have related information between them. Okay, so let's uh, t check which master data are going to upload. Be careful on your ID for your planning area. And let's browse the customer. As you remember, I told you in the technical assets, 
you have uh, some sample data to do this exercise. And let's charge customer with semicolon, insert update, and the job name, and customer. And the same. Let's wait until this process finish. Let's refresh. That's it. 13 records, 11 seconds. That's fine. Let's continue with the following ones. Okay, I just finished to load all the information. I just want to show you. Here, I have all the master data loaded in my planning area. Uh, well, in this case, I only have one issue because this data integration job was running when this ABC product isn't finished yet, and that's the problem. We can, I can show you the, the full report here. Here's the problem. Check that the matching value exists in the object product ID. The product 130 and product 600. And that's it. And well, that's all. Thank you for watching the video.